Cooking eggs in cast iron for serious. Let's be self-sufficient and independent together. Most people today don't know the joy of cooking with cast iron. There are many myths out there. I'm hungry, so let's get right to it. Our stove is a flat top electric. Cast iron works on most stoves, electric, gas, and induction. Fat is your friend. Use a lot of whatever healthy fat you like. I'm using butter, coconut oil, and bacon grease. It is very important to preheat cast iron for a long time. Cast iron does not heat evenly. It takes a long time to heat up the entire skillet to the same hot temperature. Once it gets hot, it does stay hot, but it takes time. This is why we preheat the skillet for 10 to 15 minutes. You do not need to use three kinds of fat. Use the healthy one you prefer. The key is to use a lot. We cook veggies on the griddle. Today, I'm cooking some onion, some jalapeno pepper, some green and yellow pepper, and some tomato that we put on the griddle at the very end. Once the fat on the griddle is warmed and coats the bottom, we can put the veggies on the griddle. The veggies won't stick to the griddle as long as we wait for the fat to melt and coat the bottom. Remember to save the tomatoes for later. The tomatoes, because of their acid content, will stick to the griddle. This is why we save them to be added later near the end of the scrambled eggs getting done cooking. Give the veggies a good stir to get everything mixed and well coated with the fat. We use a mason jar to mix up the eggs. Just crack the eggs into the jar and add milk or whatever you use and then shake, shake, shake and shake some more to mix the eggs up. What works best for us is to heat the skillet to 375 to 400 degrees. You want the fat hot enough to cook the eggs as you pour them. This is the so-called trick to cooking non-stick scrambled eggs in cast iron. After adding the eggs to the skillet, let the eggs sit for a good 30 seconds. After the initial 30 seconds, I stir constantly with a wooden spatula. This isn't to keep the eggs from sticking. It's more to keep the eggs from getting browned on the bottom. And it just takes a few minutes to cook the eggs in a cast iron skillet. Now, this method may not be the official way to cook scrambled eggs. What I do know is this method, discovered by my trial and error, is the method that works for us. Any time after pouring the eggs in the skillet, you can put the tomatoes with the veggies. I place the tomato on top of the veggies and I don't stir it. This keeps the acid of the tomatoes from sticking to the griddle. Remember to keep stirring the eggs so they stay nice and yellow. Unless you like browned eggs. <laughs> It takes about five or six minutes to cook the eggs. It will vary depending on how many eggs you cook and how moist or dry you like your scrambled eggs. These smell so good. Nothing better than fresh from the chicken eggs cooked in yummy, healthy fat in a well-seasoned cast iron skillet. Again, it just takes a few minutes for the eggs to cook and finish up. So just stir away until they're to the consistency you like. I use a plastic nylon spoon to scoop up the scrambled eggs. 
The skillet weighs eight pounds, so it is painful to try and hold up the skillet and slide out the eggs. As you can see, none of the egg is sticking to the cast iron. The last little bit of egg goes into a bowl for the dogs. Hey, got a share. <laughs> Place the veggies on top of the eggs and leave the cast iron on the stove top to cool while you enjoy your scrambled eggs with veggies. After the cast iron has cooled a bit, I wipe it clean. To show how non-stick it is, I'm using a paper towel to wipe the skillet clean. Normally, I would be doing this over the trash can, but hey, I'm not going to show you our trash. <laughs> the cast iron skillet doesn't even need to be washed. Perfectly clean and ready to put away for next time. If you have any questions about cooking with cast iron, ask! Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing.